Welcome to the next lecture. This lecture is about decisions under risk. We will talk about different concepts that allow us to incorporate different kinds of risk preferences and um, probability perceptions, risk perceptions into analytical models. We will talk about risk aversion, loss aversion, probability weighting, and anticipated regret. In contrast to the biases and heuristics we talked about earlier, here we mainly talk about preferences. This is in contrast where uh, a bias is some kind of a mistake. Here, the concepts are not concepts of mistakes, but rather concepts of preferences. So a risk averse subject has certain preferences which imply that he or she avoids a risk. What are the goals of this part of the lecture? We want to learn about the most important concepts of risk preferences. We are trying to understand how to model the different concepts and how to derive their predictions. So we will have, in contrast to the former lectures, we will have analytical models and we apply these concepts and derive predictions. Finally, we also try to understand the differences between the different concepts and their limitations. So for example, we will see differences between risk aversion and loss aversion. Again, this course or this lecture will be based on several examples. You will have the chance to participate in experiments and these experiments are then later discussed and we will analyze the typical behavior that is observed. Why is it important to investigate decisions under risk? In most situations, the outcomes of different choices are not deterministic, but are affected by randomness. So many choices in life are, are not deterministic. So if you decide for a certain uh, studying program, this is basically some kind of a lottery. You do not know where you will exactly end up. People typically face a trade-off between higher chances of success or less risk and a more positive outcome in case of success. I mean, you know it from um, your, your finance classes. Uh, there's typically this, this trade-off. You can have more risky assets, which will which have a higher expected payoff, but on the other hand, it's less likely that they end up with a high payoff. So as depicted on the right-hand side, you trade off the probability of success and the size of the success. To think about these situations and to analyze them, it is crucial to understand how potential outcomes are evaluated. So as you can see, there are two parts if you evaluate some uh, cert uncertain, uh, let's say, lottery or something like this. On the one hand, there's the, the probability of success, and it's important to, to understand how you evaluate or how you uh, feel about these probabilities. And on the other hand, it's how, about how you evaluate the, the outcome that realizes. Most of the concepts we look at will only look at the evaluation of the outcomes, apart from probability weighting, which is about weighing the different probabilities in, uh, yeah, let, let's say in a different way. 